In this video, we're going to answer the question, do lumens matter? And we're going to demonstrate that with three different lighting fixtures. Stay tuned. It's coming up next. What's going on, folks? Kendall here with Ben Olson Pros and Joe's helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do hands-on product tool and gear reviews, as well as renovation tip and strategy videos. So if you're interested in renovation, remodeling, repair, real estate, home improvement, property maintenance, then subscribe because this channel and this content is for you. So we're gonna answer the question right off the bat, do lumens matter? The answer is absolutely yes, they do. And what better way to explain that than by using three different lighting examples, which is what we're gonna to do today. So I'm standing here in a dining room where we're going to be installing recessed lighting throughout LEDs to be exact. And currently we have one chandelier here that burns three 60 watt bulbs. And so I'm gonna go through the specs on this particular light fixture as well as the other two fixtures that we're going to be installing in the same location for demonstration purposes. So right now we're standing in the room. There is a window here behind me or in front of me behind the camera which is what is illuminating the space right now. However, if I close these drapes that are here, this room will be almost completely dark. And that will give us an excellent opportunity to showcase the difference in these lights. So as I said before, this fixture has three 60 watt bulbs. Now on average, 60 watt bulbs have around 800 lumens a piece. However, if you're burning the type of light bulbs that are longer lasting, then these typically drop down to somewhere around 500 lumens a piece. However, each bulb is different. I'm gonna go ahead and close these drapes so that you can see what this fixture looks like. And then we're gonna go ahead and start swapping it out because the first fixture that we're going to try out here is going to be a compact fixture here, which is much smaller in size than this one and also a lot less expensive. We're gonna compare how these two stack up because this fixture actually is rated at 850 lumens, which is technically supposed to be the equivalent of one 60 watt bulb. And as I said before, there's three 60 watt bulbs in here. Then once we've installed this one and tried this one out and demoed it, we're gonna jump over to this big Mac Daddy right here. I would essentially call this your best or one of your best options for an LED alternative because this single fixture right here produces 5,000 lumens, okay? So remember that each one of these 60 watt bulbs is supposed to produce somewhere around 800 lumens, 500 to 800 depending on whether or not it's a long lasting bulb or not. I guess most bulbs now that you're buying out of store are probably gonna be long lasting, right? So probably trending on the lower side of that 500 to 800 range. The fixture over here that I just showed you, the small compact, this fixture is somewhere in the 800, 850 lumens range, and this one is 5,000 lumens right here. So we're gonna compare all of these in this exact same location, of course with our drapes closed, and then I think we'll clearly have a winner here and we'll be able to come back and discuss some of the differences that we see in the overall lighting in the space when we use these different type of fixtures because I believe each one of these is also gonna be a slightly different color temperature, which is gonna give us a different feel to the room overall when we have each one of these installed. So enough talking, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna close these drapes, turn this fixture on, and then we'll go ahead and, and set everything up and start swapping out these lights. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some fun on this one. Go ahead and give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because all the videos are gonna be very similar to this. We're gonna have a lot of fun while we learn some different things about renovation and remodeling. Stay tuned. Okay, we've got those drapes closed and the only light that we're getting in here is the light that's peeking out from the underside of the drapes here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fixture on so that we can see exactly how much light is being produced here. Okay, now this fixture is on a dimmer switch and the dimmer switch is actually set at its highest setting right here. I'm gonna come back here and step to the same location where I was before so you can see how this lighting looks as I'm standing here and kind of walking around here. You can see what it looks like. This is what we've got lighting wise. Now if I turn this fixture down, I don't know why you ever would, but 
it's essentially dark in here when we turn it down. So, got it all the way back up again. So we're gonna go ahead and set everything up in here. Gonna bring the ladder in and get our drop cloth in place. We're gonna go ahead and pull this one out and put in the compact and see how that one compares. And then of course, we're gonna jump to the big boy and see how that one compares. Now, with regards to the big boy, this one does require that holes be drilled into the ceiling to set the screws. We're not gonna do that on this location because as I said before, we're going to be installing recessed can lights throughout this entire space. But I do wanna at least put it in place so that you can see the amount of light that it creates. And I'll just have to hold it up or allow it to rest on the step ladder for you to be able to see it. But don't worry, it creates enough light for you to be able to get a very good feel for how much illumination it creates in the space. So let's jump into it. So as you can see, we've got this first fixture down and we're ready to install the second one. But let me do something real quick before I get ahead of myself. I just wanted to show you what this fixture looks like. So if I flip it back this way, you can see, as promised, it's got three 60 watt halogen lights in it. And actually, these halogen bulbs are marked at 650 lumens. So these bulbs actually have it written on them that they're 650 lumens a piece. Plus keep in mind that this light also has a shade that fits on the interior behind this portion of it. And it also has a glass diffuser in the bottom that is opaque. So that's gonna also diminish the amount of light that you receive as a user that is in that space. So keep those things in mind as well. Here's our compact LED. Now this one is rated at 850. I just wanted to show you what it looks like inside because this is all that you have. There's no bulbs inside of this fixture whatsoever. You just have the case here, the cover, and then you've got the fixture here. Uh, so there's no bulbs to swap out or anything else like that. You simply twist it together and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this one up and we'll see how this compares to that one. Now remember what that one looked like with three bulbs in it, and then we're gonna compare it to this one. We'll see if you think that this one is 850, and we'll see how that compares to that. So we're back in here and remember that the first fixture is 1350. This one is LED 850. Let's go. All right. So as you can see, this is definitely less light. Okay. But it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be quite honestly. So this is 850. Previously we were spread out with three different fixtures or three different bulbs and this is just one small compact LED and so they do make flush mount lights that are similar in style to this that produce a lot more light. So this type of fixture is going to be more ideal for places like small closets and 
utility rooms, basement work areas and things like that, this is gonna work excellent. If you're in a lower ceiling area, then this is gonna perform even better. But this is a pretty large space that I'm standing in, and so this does not give off as much light as what we would ideally want to have in a space like this. So this is the second light option. Let's move right on to the third one. All right, so now it's time for the installation of this big boy. And I can tell you before we begin that this light is pretty ticklish when it comes to installation. And we're not even gonna be installing it the entire way, but I just wanted to let you know before you see me begin fighting with it, that it is a little bit ticklish. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this diffuser cover off so you can see what's on the inside of it. And there's a ton of LEDs on the inside of it. So you can see what that looks like. This marketing information for this light touts that this creates as much light as four T8 bulbs, if you know what those are. Those are the long skinny bulbs that you typically see in the classroom lights. So this is supposed to create as much light as four of those I guess, put together in a fixture, essentially. So we'll see about that. Let's go ahead and try to put this one in place so that we can test it. And I'll have to figure out how I can set this up to be able to do so, because I don't believe the wires on this are very long. Got to figure out how I'm gonna position this light up here to be able to let you guys see what it looks like and I think I'm gonna have to basically use a five gallon bucket to sit here on top of this just to be able to hold it in place so let me run out and grab one of those and I'm gonna pull this fixture out of here because this is in the way that's right for those who may have been debating on which color bucket I was gonna bring back I brought back both so one of the main issues with connecting a light that's designed like this is that there's no recessed area on the fixture here on this side. And so you've got to make all of your wire connections and get all of the wiring placed inside of the box in the ceiling before you can even screw this light in place. And so it's definitely a balancing act. In addition to it, it requires one, two, three, four screws to be screwed into the ceiling to hold this fixture in place. So I was not kidding when I said that it's a bit of a pain to install. I've done a decent number of projects that involve these type of light fixtures, either putting them in or taking them out, and they do create a lot of light, but they are ticklish to get in. Then we'll lock our cover in place here. This will give us another couple of inches on top of our buckets here. Really wish we had something else. I'm gonna have to go back out and look and see if I can find something else to get us just a little bit taller up here because we're so close. Look at that. We're close. Super close. So, I'm not gonna stretch it though. All right, so we're long enough there. And let's see if we're long enough here. Yep, we're good. As you can see my wires are connected. Everything's good to go, it's secure. We're gonna go ahead and close these drapes again. And then I'm gonna turn the breaker back on and then we'll turn this one on. Remember that the first fixture was 1350 total with three 60 watt bulbs. And that the second one was 850 in that compact LED. 
and then this one is 5,000, and this is an LED, as I showed you the inside of this light so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna close the drapes, hit that breaker, so you can see what this thing looks like. All right, folks, <clears throat> I'm back in the space over here in the dark. And on this one, because it's so bright or supposed to be so bright, let's do this one a little bit differently. And we'll start this one off at its lowest setting since this is already on a dimmer switch and see how well this works. Now, before I hit this switch, I do wanna give a disclaimer that I have not tested out this switch for compatibility and there's a good chance that it is not gonna be compatible with this fixture. But let's just see if we can get it to work just for the purposes of demonstrating the lumens in this light. Got it down, set low, lowest setting. We're bringing it up. That's about midways. And there we can see that. Now folks, this is substantially brighter than that first option with the 1250 lumens. You can see, even though we've got it sitting on a bucket and this is like super, super rigged up, you can see that how much brighter it is in this space. And um, this would be a lot more beneficial for someone who was gonna be sitting here doing any type of work, uh, school work or working on a computer or even eating dinner. It's a much uh, brighter feel in this space. And so, just wanted to demonstrate that. So if you're in the market for a lighting upgrade or you're considering ways to upgrade your space, start with your lighting first because that component in itself can be the difference maker before you've done any type of paint work or replacing of floors or tile work or whatever you may have in mind, crown molding, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Start with your lighting and then work from there because that can be the central point which you can plan everything else around. And another thing I want to mention in this video is that notice the difference in the color temperature of the lights. And so the very first fixture that had the halogen bulbs in it was a much more orange or yellow color. Uh, those were probably around a 3000 K with regards to color temperature. And then we moved up to this compact fixture, which is right around the area of a 4,000. And then this one is probably somewhere between four and 5,000 K as far as color temperature. So we've been progressively moving up from a more yellow or orangish amber color up to a more white and blue color. And so this is what we've got it maxed out. I'll at least go up here on the ladder and hold it up just for a split second so that you can see. Unfortunately, because we're not gonna be installing this light, I can't go through the full process of drilling holes in the ceiling and then installing it completely so that you can see how it would look without the ladder and all the buckets and everything there. But I can at least lift it up here slightly just so that you can have a complete idea of what it looks like. So as you can see, this fixture is really, really, really bright. Unfortunately, that's the best we can do since we're not gonna be installing it all the way. But hopefully you found this video informative. If so, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As I said, this is just one in the series of how to install recess can lighting. And this was a quick video just to demonstrate why lumens matter because the lumens actually vary from LED recess light to recess light. So they're not all the same and that's one of the components that you wanna factor in when you're shopping for your fixture. So see you guys on the next one. See you next